see see the legislator in the back. I'm on Brunswick Street. Okay. There's the government, the legislator, you know, the government fights for people, rights, and protect citizens. Speaking of rights, see that there? That is a building of the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission of, uh-oh, there's somebody there. <laughs> I was going to do a rant, there's somebody there. Okay, what am I going to do here? Okay. Oh, look at that, brand new sign. Okay, I tell you, there's somebody inside, so we're not... Okay, Charles of Law here. There's somebody inside that was going to go on the patio, but uh, we'll forget that. But this is the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission. My God, they got a brand new sign. I'm, I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, so the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission is a place that's supposed to fight for people's rights. You know, protect people's rights. Now, the government and the bureaucrats and the cops can tank the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission to say a big merci beaucoup to them. Oh, are they coming? A big merci beaucoup to them because if it wasn't for the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission, I would have never made it here. You're welcome. In 2000, was it? 2000, 2001. I made a complaint. I'm going to do another video about this another time. But the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission ruled that people with ADHD are close to mental retardation. If you take Ritland, you're close to mental retardation. So I came here, I was upset, and that's where I live in the tent for six months in front of the legislature. But that's Carl White involved in this. I'll say a little video in weeks ahead. But anyway, what am I doing here tonight? It was announced in the news uh, on the Irving Media that Margaret Ann Blaney is going to put a complaint to the Human Rights Commission. Margaret Ann Blaney, former minister, because she landed that pump job. She like she won the lotto. In the, is it raining too hard here for the camera? Okay. Um, she landed a big high paying job through David Outward in 2012. I remember the day she got, she got that job. I was arrested the same day at the legislature for assault, but then the charges were dropped. Ah, oh, Dan BC, yeah, we miss you. The good old days. But the human race, what is the complaint? that she's going to put to the Human Rights Commission. Well, uh, they didn't honor my contract of a million dollars or whatever it was. Or is it, oh, I'm a female. That's the reason that uh, I was dismissed. She got dismissed because it was a party-appointed job. The government appointed a former a minister from the party. Now, the New Brunswick Human Rights Commission I came here and put a complaint saying, you know, they speak about human rights. They, oh my God, they talk about people in other countries. Oh, they're not treated good. Human rights, they, this goddamn bunch of, calm down, Charles. We only had four, four double doubles today. This commission, I approached Randy Dickerson. He's no idiot. I approached him saying we should put, I, we put a complaint and say the Human Rights Commission should tell the government to have a provincial jail here in Fredericton. You know, fight for the poor. You know what? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. They never said nothing about the issue of the less fortunate, the need of a provincial jail here in Fredericton is set, sending them away from their families to St. John or Miramichi. Nothing. You talk about issues about the less fortunate, nothing. But a former minister, lots of money, is going to turn around and accept, put a complaint and the commission is going to say, yes, welcome former minister, lots of money, we will take your complaint. Is there something wrong with this picture, or is it only me?